find the great pretender. Pretending that I'm doing well. My need is such, I pretend too much. I'm lonely, but no one can tell. Whoa, yes, I'm the great How do you do, how do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is my regular Thursday blog. Now, those of you who are getting a great education from my blog should have the courtesy and the decency to admit it instead of trying to tell me why I'm wrong, why I'm wrong. If you want to tell me why I'm wrong, tell me exactly why. Don't call me names. I'm not calling you names. And I don't want uncivilized people watching me in the first place. If you're that uncivilized, stay away from this blog and don't bother Jewish people. Otherwise, you'll be accused of anti-Semitism and you're going to spend the rest of your life in jail. I'm warning you right now. Now, there's a lot of decent Gentiles. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to the Sikh Jews who are attacking me more than the Gentiles. Now, listen to this. We're talking about Hillary Clinton. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, how many times is he going to keep attacking Hillary Clinton? The point is, I'm not attacking her. I'm only attacking lies and frauds and degenerates and fakes. If she happens to fit the bill, what do you want from me? She happens to be a fake, and she just proved it again for the 40th time. I've been saying it all the time, and I've been identifying each time when and where she lied to people and defrauded people. I don't deal from animosity. I deal from facts. And the fact is that she lies every time she talks, and she can't help it. Just like Al Gore became an expert on global warming, even though he never read a book about it, never studied it, never heard of it, doesn't know nothing about it. All he knew, he was unemployed, so he's an expert on global warming. Now I want to ask you a question. There is a serious issue here now. She is not directly defrauding America this time. I'm not accusing her of thievery and fraud like she pulled so many times in so many other cases, like robbing directly the, 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 the whole integrity of our government by hiring a guy who, who stole all the government secrets from the Defense Department, who worked for, for President Clinton all his life, and they don't know why he stole it or what they stole or how it happened. I'm not accusing her of other thievery and fraud like right now she did with this guy Shu, who all of a sudden found millions of dollars from poverty-stricken people, waiters and busboys and unemployed Chinese people who are walking around sleep, sweeping dirt off the streets and all of a sudden had thousands of dollars to give to her campaign. This is a great colossal fraud, but you notice the press never mentions her frauds, her thievery and her lies. They don't mention it. When Giuliani has a friend by the name of Kerrick who happens to be a fake and a fraud, you read about this in the headlines every single day. Him and Kerrick, even though he had no connection with Kerrick in any way that reflected on him or his character, he just made a mistake by hiring a disgusting bastard. That doesn't mean Giuliani was in any way involved in it, and nobody thinks he was. Nobody questions his integrity about it. But when she directly hires thieves and she's partners with them like this guy Shu in defrauding the American people, they don't mention it at all. Why? Because the press is only determined to go get Republicans. Right now, they found her bullshit in the whole country. I certainly recognize why Governor Spitzer is trying to do it. It makes a lot of sense. What is the governor supposed to do? Do I think this is the best thing for any governor to do? No. Licenses were for illegal immigrants. I'm for it. I'm slightly against it. Now the whole press and the whole country is open to all the blunders and frauds. And now she's exposed herself as the fake that she always is on every issue. This is not thievery. This is fakery. This is postures and posing and pretending every time you talk and you don't care about principle. You don't care about truth. You just make up anything that comes to your mind, whatever fits the bill at the time. If lying one direction or another will get you more votes, you don't care what the, what the consequences are. You don't care who it hurts or it helps. You don't care about nothing. You're strategizing all the time. Let the country go to hell. Let people go to hell. What will get a vote? That's the only thing that matters. Illegal immigration and the licensing. Well, I'm for it. I'm slightly against it. The left is for it, so she's slightly for it. The people are against it, so she's almost against it. Now, they wouldn't have even mentioned this because they never follow up with any questions about her statements on any subject. And no matter how many lies and frauds she tells or how, dis how much she disagrees with her suffering and, and there's a phony on every subject, they never mention it. They don't care. Because they don't want to expose her for the fake that she is and for the fact that she'll change her mind on any subject in 10 minutes if she finds out the other position is more popular than collecting extra three votes. 
But this time, the Democrats attacked her. And this time, it's not her against Republicans. It's her against different Democrats. And this time, the Democrats themselves attacked her and abused her as a fake. I just want to add, I did not say that it should be done, but I certainly recognize why Governor Spitzer is trying to do it. No, wait, and we wait, have wait, failed. Wait, wait, wait. We have yeah. failed. No, no, no. You said, you said yes. No. You thought it made sense to do it. No, I didn't, Chris. But the point is... What are we going to do with all these illegal immigrants who well, are driving That's a, that's a legitimate issue, but driver's license goes too far. Well, you, you may say that, but what is the identification? If somebody runs into you today who is an undocumented worker... There's ways of dealing with that. Well, the, this uh, is a privilege, not a right. Well, what, what, Senator Clinton, I just want to make sure what I heard. Do you, the New York Senator, Hillary Clinton, support the New York governor's plan to give illegal immigrants a driver's license. You told the National New Hampshire paper it made a lot of sense. It, Do you support his plan? You know, Tim, this is where everybody plays gotcha. Unless I missed something, Senator Clinton said two different things in the course of about two minutes. I can't tell whether she was for it or against it. And this time they exposed her for everything that I have been saying to you on every blog. When you called me names for attacking her as a fake, you didn't know that you were calling every Democrat the same names you were calling me because now every Democrat calls her a fake. And the only reason it's exposed is because the Democrats have seen it and because it serves the purpose to the other Democrats to notice it because they're running for office against her. All of a sudden, the press is mentioning it. This is the first time they mentioned all her fakery. Why? Because I'm not a Democrat, my profit from it. If it was only a Republican involved, they never would have mentioned it and you never would have heard of it. Just like you never heard of all her other thievery and fraud. What does it prove? That your Democrats are fakes and liars. There's no principle and there's no decency. It's only if another Democrat could profit from it that she's ever exposed. And now you find out a fake she always was and the truth of everything I said every time I did a blog. Pretending that you're Still alright